Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefevre, and in this video, we're gonna review the Battalion Surfer. That's right, their powdered swallow tailboard with 3BT technology. This board is available in two sizes, 154 and 159. This board has a medium traditional camber underfoot coupled with Battalion's POW 3BT technology and Sidekick technology. So the POW 3BT on this board is just in the nose and it scoops it out, elevating the contact points and just making a giant scoop. This allows powder to funnel out from the sides, just makes for better powder flow basically. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a full-blown powder day. They reported four inches, it was closer to 10. It was warmer temps and there was some humidity in the air, so it was more like that Northwest style snow. We don't normally get that till late spring here in Colorado. It was just heavier, a little more packy, so when you sent stuff, you didn't really have to worry about sinking to the bottom. Super fun type of snow to ride this board in, and I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. Look at this thing. It's guaranteed to have a directional flex to it. So, softer nose, stiffening up through the middle, stiffer tail, even though you've got that cutout in there. It's not the stiffest swallowtail I've been on, but it is a little stiffer in the tail. There's not a crazy amount of torsional flex, just kind of the right amount to twist it where you need to. Overall, very lively board. I mean, you will feel every bit of chatter in it. High speeds, everything will resonate back through the tip underfoot. You are gonna feel it after you ride this board for the day. It's just one of those decks that does not do a great job of dampening. The overall flex, middle of the road. It's not like crazy stiff or anything like that. The big thing I noticed with the pop in this board and the snap and anything was that if you were flat based, that swallowtail acted like a torsion fork and would rebound and pop you up. But if you're a little bit on edge and just going off your toe or your heel, it becomes sluggish and it's not abundant. You want to be flat based when you pop. You do not want to be coming off your edge with it at all. So if you are on edge, not the best pop, kind of sluggish, meh, you know, it does its thing. Flat based, getting all the load out of that tail from the camber so that it rebounds and snaps. It's like a torsion fork and you are going to pop with it. Look at this scoop right here. I mean, just look at it. This thing is designed for pow buttering on the nose. Pop a 180, get your weight over it and just hold on and go for a ride. But this side, yeah, you're, you're not really doing much on the tail there. Let's, let's just be real with that. Let's get real with each other here. You're not gonna go out and just carve on this thing every day. This is a specific board to add to the quiver for powder days. Now, with that said, when you're riding a resort, sometimes you gotta get across to groomer to get to more pow. How does it carve? It does okay. What's nice is that mellow camber can be loaded up and you can push into the center of the board to really center flex it and drive it. It's not the best board for just going out and carving hard, firm groomers every day, but as I've already stated, it's a powder board through and through, and you're gonna do powder board things with it. So who is this board for? Obviously, it's for a powder hunter, someone that's gonna go out and spray and play in the fresh snow. Someone that's just gonna go out and hunt pow. It's a board to add to your quiver. It's not a board that's gonna be your only board and your daily driver. My biggest regret with this board is that I didn't get on it sooner because this thing is fucking awesome. Like, I had a field day on this board. I wish I had ridden this sooner because a bunch of my top five lists would have changed. This board is definitely an amazing swallowtail and an amazing powder board. That 3BT and sidekick in the nose just funnels the snow out the way you want. This deck is designed for riding steep or low angle pow and it just rips. And it's great for throwing up sprays. Like some swallowtails, either the cut's too big or it's just not the best for like getting a really aggressive spray that can shoot up unless you're in a wide open bowl. This thing, I was throwing snow at people left and right when I was cutting across any run. And 
I just had a fucking field day with this board. So don't discredit this because it's a battalion or because it's got three VT. If you're looking for a POW board with traditional camber, you should be looking at the Surfer. Comparable boards, the Endeavor Archetype, the Weston Japow, the Moss Swallow 62, this has been my review of the Battalion Surfer. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did you buy one? Are you going to buy one? You should definitely be buying one if you're looking for a powder swallowtail. This board is fucking awesome. Anyways, leave me a comment down below. Let's have a bit of a conversation about this awesome powder board. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell. That way you're getting all those notifications. You're not missing any of the product review videos we've got coming out or the other content we do here on Angry Snowboarder. And if you'd really like to support us and you want to see us build out our snowboarding network and expand our content, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I can tell you what it is over here, but I'm going to let it do that for you over there. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.